Hello brothers and welcome to New Bible Study. Today we will study 2 John 1 verse 9. Anyone who runs ahead and does not continue in teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever continues in a teaching has both the Father and the Son. As we look for the interesting points for this verse, first, following his warning, John provides another way to identify false teachers those who lean on their own understanding. They run ahead or go beyond the teaching of Christ to extrapolate things that have no basis in the word. And second, those who do not hold to sound teaching are worthy of doubt. For example, if a person teaches something about Jesus which is flagrantly wrong, they cannot be considered a believer. Although true Christians may misunderstand or be ignorant of certain biblical teachings about Jesus, those who deliberately teach against the true identity of Jesus or completely misunderstand who he really was are both false teachers and unbelievers. And thirdly, in contrast, those who abide in Christ and faithfully adhere to Christ's teachings over the course of time should be trusted. Such believers will endure in the faith. They will not later deny Christ and teach false things about him. Although the disciple Peter denied knowing Jesus three times in fear, as our Lord predicted, Jesus restored him into the fold after the resurrection. Peter would not deny Jesus again and was eventually executed for his faith. And fourth, this verse helps us understand God's view of people who appear to be strong Christians until they fall away in their faith by turning away from the Lord or choosing a life of sin. John confirms such people do not have the Son and therefore were never truly believers in Jesus. Okay brothers, James tells us in James 3 we who teach will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. If anyone is never at fault in what he says, he's a perfect man, able to keep his whole body in check. And later we read in James 3 verse 13, Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show it by his good life, by deeds done in humility that comes from wisdom. Then in verse 17, but the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. When we listen to teachers, we ought to keep our eyes, ears and hearts open, observe whether they walk the talk and live as the word they are describing. Listen actively and in such a way that we can verify what is taught marries up with the word and if there is any area of doubt error or confusion meet lovingly with the teacher to resolve the point in such a way we will ensure two things one that our church will continue in sound teaching and two we will quickly identify a false teacher by their response to our inquiry or a gap in our understanding of scripture. Since this entails that we have studied and know God's word, may we continue to encourage each other in reading the word, meditating on it, and applying what God tells us through it. Lastly, may we keep Jesus as the focus and anchor of our faith, so that our faith will never be shaken. When the failings of human teachers <laughs> come to light as several have done in recent years, just as many did in John's era. Hey, and also in this Bible study, in this YouTube channel, we are teaching also things from the Bible. And it could be very well that we make an error or we have any doubt or confusion. Please let us know in the comments and we can openly discuss it and yeah, just making sure that we keep the love of Jesus in our minds, in our words. And uh, yeah, thank you for listening again and hope to see you the next time. May God bless you.